Good morning, family. So glad to have you with us today with our daily devos. Let's say yes to God again today. This should just be part of our daily devotion to God, saying yes to His purpose, saying yes to His will for our lives. Say goodbye to my yesterday. Not to live in familiar ways Moving on to where I've never been before The cloud is moving and it's time to pack Moving forward and I won't look back Moving on to where I've never been before If you know it, sing it, I'll sing it a great day. Uh, we're going to be reading out of 1 Peter chapter 3. And as you start to read this chapter, the beginning of the chapter, uh, it's, 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 it's bringing some, some tools for wives. And, uh, you know, for all the husbands, we're like, yeah, you tell them, Peter, you, you, you tell them. And, and, and then you get down to verse 7. And uh, since I'm a husband, uh, I want to be reading from this, uh, this part of the scripture here. And hopefully it helps you. And maybe you're out there, you're a husband, or you're soon to be a husband. Uh, if, uh, if you're a wife out there, your husband's not watching, maybe you can send this to him later and get me in trouble. I'm just kidding. It says this in verse 7. In the same way, you husbands must give honor... To your wives, treat your wife with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of new life. Treat her as you should, 
so your prayers will not be hindered. Um, you know, I think this is this is so. Um, you know, I, I can get in a dispute with my wife. We can talk. We can get an argument about the silliest things. I mean, one time, we sh- she had a dream, or I had a dream, and you know, dreams obviously aren't true. But sometimes when you have certain dreams, you wake up and you feel like they're true, so you're kind of mad out the gate. Like you know what I'm talking about. Um, and so the emotions are there, and we just start talking about this stupid dream, and before you know it, it's like afternoon time now and we're angry at each other and I'm thinking it's not even true we're, we're so mad and it's so easy to get in arguments and disputes and 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 just fighting over the silliest things uh, but then when it's time to pray and to start believing for something God says if you're not treating your wife right I don't even hear your prayers and for me that checks me as a husband because there's some things I'm believing for there are some things that I'm praying for there are some things that I need heaven's backing in Could it be that mistreating your spouse, could it be that not honoring your spouse could bring hindrance to that? Like, I know this isn't something we talk about all the time, but maybe the prayer didn't get answered, not because it wasn't God's plan, but maybe it was your home life. Maybe you were mistreating your spouse and that's why it didn't happen. I think it's so easy so many times in our life to look at situations and blame God for why it didn't happen. Peter is putting the ball back in our court saying, hey, Andrew, you actually have a little bit more control than you think. Maybe the way you're treating your spouse is the reason why your prayers aren't coming to pass. But we're going to fight for this. We're going to fight to do the word of God. And I'm here to tell you, man, when you guys are unified, husbands and wives, when they're unified, there's a blessing that God can flow through your family. Get on the same page. The argument isn't worth it. It's, it's not worth it. Work through it and then allow the blessing to show up in your in your house so today it's just a reminder if your prayers aren't working make sure you go check to see if you've left any doors open because there might be something as simple as a little dispute that you haven't worked out yet let's humble ourselves and watch god give us some grace let's pray god thank you for your word and god i pray that we would be Uh, humble enough, God, to receive it. God, that even in the midst of disputes and arguments and seeing things our way, God, that we would fight to see things the way that you see them. Give us eyes to see the relationships around us the way that you see them, that we wouldn't be so distracted by the flesh, but that we would see the people around us, especially the ones, God, that you have put in our lives for a reason, that we would see them the right way. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, hope this helped. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.